Uh, President Trump and his supporters have, have contributed to this violent rhetoric as well. Well, absolutely, George. We were just looking back this morning at some of the things that uh, former President Trump has said. He warned last March of potential death and destruction if he were charged by the Manhattan District Attorney. Our country is being destroyed, as they tell us, to be peaceful. Uh, Trump in January warned of bedlam in the country if the criminal charges against him succeeded. And, of course, in March, he said, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. It's ABC correspondent Martha Raddatz speaking with George Stephanopoulos, suggesting that part of the blame for the Trump assassination attempt was on former President Donald Trump himself. Yeah, and many headlines came out, like this one here with the L.A. Times front cover page here, not even mentioning the word assassination, nor the fact that Trump was shot and bleeding. Let's bring in some reaction here. Melanie Collette is the former vice chair of the New Jersey Federation of Republican Women. And Virginia Allen is the host of the Daily Signal podcast. Thank you both for being here. Um, Melanie, what did you make here of George Stephanopoulos' comments uh, that Trump can contributed here to this assassination attempt? And then what Martha Raddatz was saying there in that interview with him. Well, it's a, it's a family show, so I'm not going to say my, my true feelings, but for, but for her to say, first of all, she completely lied about what Trump said, about it being a bloodbath. That was in, uh, completely out of context. It was in reference to the economy. Uh, you know, and this is what the media constantly does, and for George Stephanopoulos to let, let her get away with it, was completely ridiculous. So, uh, you know, it's really, it's maddening. Let's make no mistake, the person responsible for that assassination attempt was the, was the, the potential assassin. And in and, and, and the Secret Service, you know, for, for whatever flaws that, that happened that particular day at that particular site. Yeah, very true. Mm -hmm. uh, not to mention the extreme rhetoric that we've heard from Democratic lawmakers in how they describe the former president, Donald Trump, threat to democracy, Hitler-esque. I mean, the list goes on and on. In fact, uh, we're learning this morning, Virginia, that MSNBC had made a decision when it comes to their morning programming. So Morning Joe, that's the typical show that airs uh, to start the day, opting instead to go with breaking news coverage of the attempted assassination. So Joe and Mika were benched this morning. A person familiar with the matter telling CNN that the decision was made to avoid a scenario in which one of the shows uh, stable a two dozen plus guest might make an inappropriate comment on live television that could be used to assail the program and network as a whole. Uh, Virginia, your thoughts on this editorial decision? It sounds like they don't trust their hosts, which is a real problem when you work in news to not trust your host to not say something that's horribly inappropriate. And to your point, I mean, you think about what was said in the lead up to this attempt on former President Donald Trump's life, 24 hours before this attempted assassination, Joe Biden, President Joe Biden was on Twitter calling Trump a dictator, calling him a convicted criminal, and saying that many of the policies that Trump supports are a threat to freedom. That was all said within the period of an hour on Friday night. And this is the kind of rhetoric that we repeatedly get talking points from the far right, and then the far left media picks it up and they distribute it, which is, I think, I think exactly why they pulled back Morning Joe this morning, once again, because they don't trust their hosts to actually say what is appropriate at a time like this. Yeah, for a network to do something like this, that is very telling that they pulled that show off the air today in wake of what happened on the weekend. Uh, we have to leave it there. Melanie Collette, as well as Virginia Allen, thank you so much. Appreciate you coming on.